we're looking at data transfers today. So this is like downloading stuff, uploading stuff, and it's just subtly different but interconnected to storage, okay? So I want you to complete this sentence for me. Um, the average download speed over 4G, or rather, is. Now, I'm going to give you an Australian number in a second. Now, before you think of a number, maybe you're like, I don't even have an idea of what this number could be, and I wouldn't blame you because you don't have to know what this is, but maybe you experience it when you're like, you know, you're waiting for something done and you're waiting and waiting and waiting. What is this number in Australia? Okay, now, I've deliberately sort of made this a bit difficult for you because I've provided no units, right? Like, how do you even measure a speed? Yeah, what you'll see generally these days is a number like this. Back in my day, there was a K instead of an M, but, you know, <laughs> technology, okay? Now, it doesn't stand for bytes, it stands for bits. Do you remember what a bit it's like is? Eight it's one-eighth of a byte, okay? Um, it's just a zero or a one, okay? Um, which, by the way, tells you why bits are called bits. It's not just because bit is a word for like a small piece of something. It actually, it's an, it's an acronym, not acronym, it's an abbreviation of binary, binary digit, okay? Binary oh, digit, it's a bit. Okay. Now, don't write this number down. I'll tell you what this number was last year, and then I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna put it here. And then I'm going to ask you to wait, make a prediction for what it is this year. Okay. Now I'm just going to quote the Australian number uh, for Telstra. Now this is what the 20, well, this is what, whatever the last year's recorded um, average speed was for users across the 4G network. That's what it was last year. Now keeping in mind the, uh, the unstoppable march of technology forward, what do you think the number is? this year. Probably like 50 or something. Uh, I know that's a super disappoint you. Because the answer is not for 24. It's 12. It's 12. It's 12. It's 12. Oh, I was going to say, I was going to say, there's all of the towers and that kind of thing and all of the wires and cables that can make this number bigger. And then there's all the rest of us. Every time we put a device on the network, and we all we all get on, and anyone who's got like you know a decent number of people in their family, and everyone's like, you know, minding their own business at home, and then suddenly like, what happened to my video? Okay, why is it all slowed down? Well, the reason why is the same reason why this number has dropped. More people, and it hasn't been upgraded yesterday. So write with me what this means is mega bits per second. Now. This is even more different than you already think it is. Not only is it bits, not bytes, right? So if I were to convert this into bytes, I'd have to divide by eight. But even more confusingly, do you remember yesterday, I made a big deal about how when you go from mils to liters to kiloliters to megaliters, right? It's part of the metric system. So we multiply by a thousand. Do you remember that? Yeah. And then I said, when you're storing things, when you go from bytes to kilobytes to megabytes, you're actually not in thousands, you're in 1024s, right? Okay, get this. When you're talking about data transfers, not data storage, that's like I've got a hard drive. This is, I'm downloading something or I'm uploading something. This actually goes back to thousands. Oh, now, if you feel like, oh man, that's confusing, why? Well, there's an answer and I'm happy to give it to you, but only if you ask. So for now, oh, I'm going to gloss over it. I, you can come back and uh, you can ask me at the end. Oh, if you're oh, curious, but, okay. um, but you don't need to know why to do the questions first. So let's work with this. Okay. So let's actually go with this and let's try and see how close Nick was. Because this is not a bad estimate, I don't think. 13 megabits per second, that's an average speed at the moment. So if I write 13 mega, keeping in mind that for data transfers, this is back to, well, if it's mega, it's gonna be times a million, right? So this is one, zero, 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 okay? So this is 13 million bits per second, okay? That's what this average speed is, okay? So I wanna try and translate it a little bit to get to Nick's units, right? So first thing I'm gonna do, um, you can, I hope you wrote this down off the formula data sheet yesterday. I've got to go from bits to bytes. So I'm going to divide by eight. So you can go ahead and you can divide by, that by eight and that's going to give me bytes per second. Can someone tell me what the number is? Uh, yeah, this is really 
many zeros? Three. Okay, cool. So we've converted to bytes. That's great. Now, to go from bytes to kilobytes, okay, remember, remember, you've now transitioned to a different kind of unit, right? <laughs> How many bytes are there in a kilobyte? 1,024, right? 1,024, okay? I know it's a bit weird. It's like I changed from thousands to 1,024s midway through. I know that's confusing, so if you want, I'll explain more later. But for now, this is why every step of the way, I, I mentioned this um, last week, rather than like just doing all my numbers and then adding units at the end, I'm going to say units every single time just so I'm really clear what I'm converting to. So I'm going to divide by 1,024, and that should get me to kilobytes. 1586. I'll make it point 0.9. <laughs> I hope so. Okay. Alright. Now just just for the sake of it, since this is quite a large number, we've successfully transitioned into um the units that Nick suggested before, but I can go on more. So does someone want to divide by 1024 one more time? And give us it should be an approximately equals. Sorry. One point one point five four. I hate all of you! Whoa, whoa, that's pretty Settle down. Okay. That escalated quickly. Alright, so, megabytes per second, right? Now, that's average download speeds over 4G as they're quoted, okay? Does anyone have questions on that? Yeah, so, how did you get from kilobytes to megabytes? From here to here? Yeah. Actually, that's a great question. I'm going to put in the translation every single time. Okay? So, I've done, um, watch it, one, two, three, four steps of conversion. Okay? So, I'm actually going to label every single one so that you know. First, I went from here to here. Okay? From megabits per second to bits per second. Okay? So, I multiplied by a million. Why a million? Okay? There are I'll, I'll come back to, well, it's a thousand times a thousand. Okay? Why is it not a thousand twenty-four? I'll explain at the end. Do we need to know this? Like, we need to memorize, like... Yes, yes you do. Now, if you remember, I didn't bring them again, but you can look it up fairly easily. If you look back again at the formula data sheet, right, it tells you how to get from bits to bytes, bytes to kilobytes, etc. It doesn't tell you about this stuff, though. Okay? So this is something which is worth knowing. You need to be able to interpret.